Hi guys, it's Daniel Tanvir here at my home in Lahore, Pakistan. If you see, if you guys seen my previous videos, you know that I'm not well. I have schizophrenia and obsessive compulsive disorder. I hear voices and have compulsions to close switches and taps and to go to places again and again. Well, well, you know what? I'm pretty sick of everything. I just can't take it anymore. And I'm just at my wits end, you know. I, I take med medicines, but nothing seems to help. Anyways, I don't want to bore you guys with the same nonsense that I've talked about before as well. But it's a very big problem, so I have to discuss it, actually. I don't know what to do. I just feel like crying. I don't think this illness will ever be cured off. And I will have to live with this illness for the rest of my life. And I will have to suffer like this. And my sufferings will not end and this will go on and on and on and on and on it's really depressing and it's a pathetic sort of affairs you know this illness that I have has just ruined everything in my life anyways as you guys know I'm I want to become a writer and sell a lot of copies I want to sell uh, a billion copies I want to become a writer and sell a lot of copies uh, and ever since I was 12, 11 or 13 years old I wanted to become a writer uh, actually ever since I can remember I wanted to become a writer and I always love to read books and I wonder when my sufferings will end or even if they will end or not but I just feel like crying I really do feel like crying when I think of all the sufferings I have to go through and stuff like that uh, I don't want to live in Pakistan. I want to live in Canada or the United States of America. Uh, in Canada, I would like to live in Toronto, ca uh, Toronto. In the United States, I would like to live in New York City or Washington DC as I love New York City and I love Washington DC. And I love the Barnes and Nobles bookshops in the United States of America. Yeah, that's so cool. Anyways, I'm 28 years old. And on the 8th of September 2022, I'm going to turn 29 years old, which is a big boy. My mother told me that by this age, people ha have children at this age. Anyway, so I'm in Lahore right now. I'll be going to Islamabad on the 5th of September 2022. I'm going to celebrate my birthday on the 2nd of um, 2nd of September 2022 and the next day I'm going to go to the readings bookshop and buy 5 to 6 books I'll be spending 4 to 5 thousand rupees on books and the rest of the money I have to take my father and his uh, my his friend and me to Marriott Hotel in Islamabad for high tea you know the Marriott Hotel in Islamabad has lovely high tea you know it's really nice anyways so after the birthday in Lahore, I go to Islamabad on the Q-Connect bus. The Q-Connect bus service is a newly started bus service which started I think two or three years ago or like one year ago or like two years ago and it's really nice. The seats are really comfortable and they stop at a place called Bera. Bera is a place between Lahore and Islamabad where they stop and they have Hardee's, they have McDonald's, they have Dunkin' Donuts, they have KFC and it's just amazing. So I have uh, ice cream or a burger or chips, although I'm pre-diabetic, I shouldn't be having that kind of bullshit. Anyways, so uh, uh, I'll be gone to Istanbul on the 5th of September 2022. And after that on the 8th, 8th of September is a Thursday and 9th of September is a Friday so on the 9th of September 2022 I'll be celebrating my birthday in my flat in Islamabad and I'm expecting a lot of people over there yeah, on my f uh, uh, and uh, a lot of people are going to come out of our small flat and we're going to have a party like hell we're going to have music we're going to have dance and all that stuff and I'm going to party all night long uh, uh, at our house I'll get presents and money and stuff like that and the party will go on up till midnight and I'll cut the cake and stuff like that yeah
Uh, I don't know when my illness will end though. I have no idea though. It's really terrible. It's just getting too much for me to handle and no one even cares about me. No one bothers to reply to my texts or messages or emails. No one cares about me. And I have to suffer so much on my own. This is so unfair and really terrible sort of affairs. I sometimes I don't even feel like becoming a writer actually. Although I've always wanted to become a writer and one of the best writers in the world. I want to go abroad somewhere. I want to live in the West, not in Pakistan. I miss Toronto, I miss New York City and uh, obviously Bangkok and uh, Cambodia, Nepal, Malaysia, stuff like that. Yeah. So I like it in Islamabad. My father is 72 years old and I don't want him to die. My mother is 60 and I'm 28 and I'm going to turn 29 in a couple of days. So that's what I wanted to talk about in this video guys. Yeah. I have a lot of reading to do actually. I have a lot of novels and books to read. Novels, memoirs, religion, philosophy. I have a lot of reading to do. I have to read uh, the books I have. Then I have to read the books I have in Islamabad. And then I have to read the books I have in uh, that I'm going to buy from the readings bookshop in Defence Lahore, Pakistan. I'm going to buy a lot of books because I am I have to buy uh, many books. I have to read. Uh, I have to read Grimace, Midnight Children and Shame by Salman Rushdie, Sir Ahmed Salman Rushdie. I have to read Laja and French Lover by Tasima Nasreen. I have to read The Toss of a Lemon by Padma Vaswanathan. I have to read the three Hashim, uh, Hashim Attar books. I have to read The Disappearance of the Universe by Gary Renard. I have to read Shanta Ram. And apart from that, I have to read the books I'll get from the bookshop in Lahore. So I have to read a lot of books. I have to make videos. I have to make movies. I have to go to different hotels and restaurants in Islamabad and have a nice time and have nice things to eat. I want to go to India. I have always wanted to go to India. You know, my fa grandfather had a friend and her daughter Ritu Sabal who is an Indian Hindu lives in um, Indonesia told me that there are loads and loads of bookshops in India. I have always wanted to go to India for some odd reason. Since the writers I like are from India, like Rohintan Mistri and um, Anita Desai, Shashish Tharoor, Tharoor and uh, Jumpa Lehri, stuff like that. Salman, Salman Rushdie was born in Mumbai, India. He came to the Jaipur Literary Festival and stuff like that. Yeah, apart from that, uh, I want to pay tribute to my favorite writer Christopher Eric Hitchens. Although I haven't even read his book from s for some stupid reasons. Anyways, Mohsin Hamid's new novel is out, The Last White Man, and just doing pretty well actually. I think it's his fifth novel. And Kamala Shamsi's new novel uh, is also coming out right now. I managed to read a couple of books in this trip. Uh, the uh, book I liked was, which I read again, was The Purple Hibiscus by Chamanda Ngozi Adichie and it was really good. Uh, in the readings bookshop in Lahore, I have to buy, they have a section on the second floor where they have Booker Prize winners, Nobel Prize winners and award winning books and on the first floor they have current affairs, history, self-help and religion and stuff like that. So I have to buy one book on religion and four to five novels and memoirs and stuff like that. So I have to go there then I go back to Islamabad then I'll see maybe in two to three months time I go abroad somewhere maybe to uh, the uh, to we can't I can't go to United States of America or Canada because I've screwed that stuff up. I cannot go to the West. That sucks like anything. So I can go to Nepal. I can go to 
uh, Thailand, I can go to Singapore, I can go to uh, Malaysia, I can go to Dubai and stuff like that, I can go to oh, those countries. But I can't go to America and United because my uh, Canadian PR card, permanent resident card got screwed up because of different reasons and what some of them was my fault. So I just want to go back home to Pak Islamabad. I'm getting sick of Lahore but I don't want to upset my father. So I'm looking forward to my birthday. I'll be having a blast. I hope I don't start hearing voices on my birthday. Okay, bye guys.